Hello, this is Tofman Trifo Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to an add-on that I've just uh, seen. It's called the Smart Fill add-on. It's uh, pretty simple and it's small, but it really does a great job. I did a tutorial a while back about how to fill in holes by, you know, left-clicking in your scene or in your mesh and the and uh, the let me see, let's go to edit mode. When you click the edges, just press F to extend or to fill in the mesh. But with this add-on, it does a whole it does a whole lot better job, but we're gonna test it to see how well it does that job. Uh, in this scene I've got a cube here, and we've got uh, I've got some mesh part of the mesh missing, which is the T. It forms letter T for trifold. And here I've got a cone, cube cone, and this is also missing uh, part of the mesh, which forms a T. And then we have this, I have this uh, extended cube here that I stretched along the z-axis and curved a little bit. Part of that's missing, and the other test would be on Suzanne's eye here, which you can see the eyes, part of the eye is missing. Uh, but this add-on, it's, it's not free, it's a paid add-on, the smart fill add-on, but it's just $3.00. Uh, let me navigate to where uh, the website is and I'll leave a link of this add-on in the description below this video but it's three dollars and and for three bucks I know people a lot of people watch the videos from around the world and they've complained before that hey three dollars might, might not be much to you but it's a lot to us but you know it's still you know three bucks and I don't know if there's a free version but this one is three dollars and you know if you really want it you'll be able to acquire it and once you've on the, the normal process of downloading it uh, into Blender, which is the whole edit uh, preferences, and you, you install it. I've done this before, but you click on install, navigate to where you've uh, installed it or downloaded it onto your system. Click on that, click on install add on, and you'll put a check in the box here and it activates the add on. Now, without this add on to fill in the mesh, it would do this. We're going to deactivate it by deactivating it by clicking in the uh, box to remove the check mark and I'm going to go over to the uh, first cube here and press one on my keyboard scroll up on my mouse and I'm using Blender 2.82 so this uh, version of the add-on works with every version of Blender for 2.8 so I'm going to I can shade, change the uh, viewport shading here so we can see a little bit better let me get some light in here. Make it a little bit brighter. Change the color. I guess that's good enough. Let's press tab. Now I have to be in edge select mode, so we're going to select all the edges. And we're going to left click on that edge and have that selected and hold down shift. Left click all around the gap. And I've seen when you left click on the outside of where the edge is, it selects it a lot easier. I can left click all around here, you select that. Now this is with the add-on not activated, so press F on the keyboard and it just makes a you know a flat fill-in so to speak. Now this is fine because this is a cube, if it was something that had you know curves to it, this wouldn't work at all. But we're going to deactivate that or redo that by pressing Ctrl Z on our keyboard and keep our selection there. We're going to activate the add on again. I think the window's still open. Okay, it is. So put a mark, a check in the box and close that out. And watch what happens when we press F again. Now it fills it with quads, which is a lot better result. Now it works great on flat surfaces, but let's see how it works on surfaces that are curved here. Let's deactivate that. Let me hold down shift and left and hold down my mouse button and navigate to this next uh, shape here, which is this cube. Let me scroll up. Press tab on that. Same process. Hold down shift and left click around. I'm going to select the gap in this mesh. And I'm wanting to do this live so you can see how it actually works. 
to get a bit better feeling of how it works. We're, we're testing the add-on. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we have all that selected. Let's press F. Let's see what happens with the curved uh, surface. F again. And it does do that, but there's a way to fix that. <coughs> Excuse me again. <coughs> it's the weather. <coughs> Let me get a drink of water. So apologize for that. It's just kind of cold out here, so it's just kind of messing with the throat there. But back to the tutorial. Now let's mess with some of these parameters. Let's see what we can get to kind of fix this. Let's kind of bump this up. It gives us more uh, lines going in that direction. Let's let's bump it down a little bit. Let's see what happens. Okay, so if, if we reduce the span, it fixes uh, any kind of quote unquote errors in the fill-in so it can't get you, get you a much better result because we, what we're wanting to get or uh, quads even quads going across our mesh and so it works for that so this curve it, it passes the test uh, with these parameters and they're just simple simple parameters that you can adjust very very simple with the, the span and the offset so let's uh, minimize that press tab let's go to the next our next challenge here which is this uh, object that I've created here let's click on that press tab and same process hold down shift and left click if you want to see how well this can with even with uh, adjusting the parameters you want to see how well it does with like weird shapes how well it fills in all these gaps okay once again the add-on is activated so let's press F and it gives us some fill-in but once again it's not all that even let's go back to our parameters so let's see what we can do to adjust this and for some reason it's not expanding it's expanding this way, but it's not opening up. It's kind of strange. Okay, let's get out of it. Let's see if that's going to fix it. It's going to press Control Z and then F again. Will it work this time? Okay, I guess this is what this is one of the things. That's why I kind of test add-ons to see what's what can go wrong with them. And for some reason, it was working fine. The pop-up menu was working fine until we got to this shape. So let me close out. Let me reopen this scene again. Maybe that'll fix it. Let me see. Don't save that. Okay, let's keep the color scan the way it is. And scroll up on our mouse wheel. Press tab again. Let's reselect this. Edge mode. Hold down shift. Left click. All the way across. That's why this is like a testing series. I know it's a new add-on because I've never used it before. It's my first time using it. But once again, I'm just testing it. I mean, it seems to be a great add-on, but just testing it to see what errors may come up with it. And there that we found is the pop-up menu. Seems to have some glitches in it, so let's press F again. Okay, so it's giving us a feeling but it's not the way you want it to be let's click on our pop-up menu and that fixes it so if you're using the add-on <coughs> on multiple um, models in your scene and it begins to you know act a bit a bit strange with the pop-up just close it out open it back up again or restart the scene again and that'll fix the pop-up that you saw prior didn't really come up so let's kind of let's see how if we can fix the uh, the fill in here by reducing the span. Okay, and that fixes it. So besides the fact that the pop-up menu was a bit glitchy, the add-on works really good. It works on some curved surfaces, but I want to really test it on Suzanne's eye because, as you can see, let's scroll in on Suzanne. Her eye is pretty much made of triangles. And as far as I can tell with the add-on, it fills in quads. Let's see how it does with triangles. 
So same process, you're going to left click, hold down shift, left click, get the edge there. Let's go down to the bottom part, let's left click on that edge, on these edges here, and press F. <clears throat> and it gave us, oh, some really strange results. And on top of that, it gave us some other parameters to work with. Hmm. This I've never seen before. This is new to me. Let me see closed loop. That doesn't do much. Merge. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, let's uh, see. This is different. I guess if you were to have a complex mesh uh, and you wanted to fill it in, it provides you with more options to use to fix the mesh. Let's see if you can fix this one. Let me scroll up. That doesn't do much. Twist. Nothing. Number of cuts does something. Linear. Blend path. Nope. Blend surface. Oh, nope. Uh, smoothness. This, yeah. Profile factor. Well, I guess this is its limits. I guess. Uh because we're using all the parameters here but it's not really making much of a difference in filling in these triangles so I'm guessing this is the conclusion that I've come to but I'm guessing that based upon our experiments with this add-on it works on quads great it's great for quads but when it comes to triangles not so much I mean it, it provided with parameters to kind of fix it but as you can see we've been working with these parameters that have been provided for us but it still hasn't fixed the issue of filling in these uh, this hole in Suzanne's eye that is made up of triangles. So yeah, so this uh, the Smart Fill add-on, three dollars works great with um, quads that we as we've seen in these three first three examples here, but not so great with triangles. So that's uh, today's Blender Quick Tip. Smart Fill add-on is great for quads but not so much triangles and once again I really think hopefully hopefully this add-on uh, this uh, tutorials has uh, helped those of you who have been watching have watched it and and you should purchase that on it does a good job with quads it helps you fill in quads but trying to have to pretty much um, you'd have to pretty much uh, retopologize it to use it on a triangle based uh, mesh to turn the triangles to quads then if you need to do any fill-ins, fill it in with the Smart Fill add-on. And once again, uh, that's today's quick tip, blend quick tip, the Smart Fill add-on. And once again, I appreciate you guys who have watched the video. Thank you guys who have, have subscribed in the past to the uh, to, to the channel. And you guys who are subscribing now, and those of you who are subscribing in the future, tongue twister. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.